Hello everyone. Today we will look at the characteristics of plant cells. Those who are new to the channel, if you like the content then please do subscribe to the channel and with that note, let's start the video. Outside of the cell membrane, plant cells have cell walls comprised of cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin. Their composition varies from that of fungi, whose cell walls are composed of chitin, bacterial cell walls which are composed of peptidoglycan and that of archaeal cell wall that are composed of pseudopeptidoglycan. Inside these cell walls, the protoplasm often secretes lignin or shibarin as secondary cell wall layers. Most plant cells have a large central vacuole, a liquid volume covered by a membrane known as tonoplast which controls the movement of molecules between the cytosol and the sap. It stores vital substances like phosphorus and nitrogen and also helps in the digestion of proteins, waste proteins specifically and organelles. Next is the plasmodes meta. These are exclusive cell-to-cell -cell communication channels that take the form of opening in the primary cell membrane through which the plasmolema and endoplasmic reticulum of neighboring cells are continuous. The most significant plastids in plant cells are chloroplasts, which contains the green pigment chlorophyll, which converts the energy of sunlight into chemical energy that the plant uses to make its own food from water and carbon dioxide via the process of photosynthesis. Next are the amyloplasts. These are specialized in storage starch. There are yellow plasts that are specialized in fat storage and there are chromoplasts used in pigment generation and storage. Plastids like mitochondria are believed to be developed as prokaryotic endosymbionts dwelling in the cells of an early eukaryotic progenitors of plants and algae. Plastid genomes includes around 100 to 120 unique genes. Cell wall provides several vital functions. They shape the tissue of the plant and organs. They also play a crucial role in intercellular communication and plant microbial interactions. These were some of the fundamental properties of plant cells. We will go over them in more detail in my future videos. Please stay tuned and I am certain that these videos will assist you in your projects and examinations. Thank you for your continued support. Please subscribe to the channel for additional videos. Thank you and take care.